Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the last and final video of our series book management system. And in this particular series, we are using Web API as a backend and ReactJS as a frontend. So far, we have created add new book component, book list component and dashboard component. As you can see over here, this is dashboard, add book, book list and added book. So if we go to the browser and let's try to add any book, let's say C Sharp and Microsoft. Click on save. So book has been added. Let's add another book. Let's say JavaScript. JavaScript save. So you can see JavaScript book also has been added. Let's go to SQL Server just to validate. So books has been added. Perfect. So if we try to delete let's say this javascript just click on this delete button so book has been deleted from front end let's go to sql and just run this command again as you can see the book has been deleted from the back end as well so perfect so now if you try to edit this particular book which is c sharp so just click on edit one so you can see the details has been come whatever we have stored previously perfect so now we will work on the update part of this particular video. So let's go to the react.js project first. So now in the added book, because we are now in added part. So in the added book, we need to add some functions. So the first one is on change. So let's say const on change. And this is a arrow function. So e dot persist. And now we will call our set book method, which is you can see the state of our book. So inside this, the first parameter would be we are using spread operator. So whatever is there in the book earlier so we will be using the existing state and then now we will update our book values so e dot target dot name and the value would be e dot target dot value so what it does it will take the value from these two text fields and update in our book so we are done with our on change so now we also need to create a update method so const update book and this is also a arrow function event default and now we'll create a data so first parameter is id so id is coming from props dot match dot params dot id second is name so name is coming from this book because we just created a method for setting the name and value which is coming from these two text fields. So name is book dot name. And another property is author. This will also come from the book state. So book dot author. So we are done with our state. And we also need to call this method over here. So on change. Let's copy this and paste for this also. Now, after creating the data, we need to call our axios.put method. But before that, we need to just create a URL. And URL is if we go to the API. So this is the base URL. First copy this one. And then we need to write the initial route which is this api slash books and then we need to create a method for this so let's assume we will write this method update book 
all right so this is our url so now axios dot put the first parameter is url and the second one is data dot then result if this gets succeeded then we need to redirect our ur user to a book list component on this one so props dot history dot push so inside this we need to write the path so in our case it is book list so we are done with our update book so now we need to call this update book method on the form submission so go to the form tag and we have a event for the form which is on submit and call this one update book save this one so now we are done with our react part so go to our api project let's stop the solution first and now we need to write a update method so first let's declare a route route and copy this update book because we'll use the same route and this is a http put method so decorated with http put verb and now public object update book so it will accept a book object so book detail let's say b is the parameter or the object of this particular book object so where obj equal db dot book details dot where x x dot id equal equal b dot id dot to list dot first or default so if whatever id we are passing from the front end if that exists in the database so it will give a the but that particular book all right so after that we just need to use our if condition let's say if obj dot id greater than zero it means if if this exists in the database so here we need to write our additional code so obj dot name equal b dot name same way obj dot author equal b dot author and now we are we already set the name and author property so now we need to save our changes so db dot save changes and then we need to return our response method so response class so return new response inside this we have two properties one is status so status is let's say success and we have another property which is message so message is let's say book updated and let's also decorate this with try catch block catch exception ex and just cut this entire block of code and put in try block and inside if we get any error exception so we need to return another response class object so return new response and inside this we need to write the status as failed and messages book update failed or whatever meaningful message you want to return you can just write it down so let's save this so we are done with our web api not all code path return a value okay 
so for that we need to write like let's say return status equal blank and also string message and here let's say copy status equal success and message equal book updated and let's remove this same way in the catch block so message is failed and let's also remove from this and now here he will return return new response and inside this status equal status and message equal message let's save this so we are done with our update book method so let's try to run this web api project so now let's go to a react project so let's reload the page let's go to first book list so now just click on the added one so let's try to change the name c sharp 2.0 click on save so you can see the name has been changed from c sharp to c sharp 2.0 let's go another and microsoft c sharp author click on save so you can see author has been changed now go to sql just to verify select the command you can see the both the values from name and author has been changed so let's go to another book let's say html w3 save go to sql hit the command so book has been added just click on add it so html tutorial click on save name has been changed verify tutorial let's try to delete this html book delete it from front end verify in the back end so book has been deleted perfect so this is how you can perform your post method your get method delete get by id and put method so in this particular series i have covered all five methods of web api which are being used in real life project or real scenarios all right also i have shown you how you can use all your major methods and events and forms of react.js application i hope by following this particular series you will add some important skills and learning in your react json web api project all right so this is about today's video i hope you like the video and if you like this particular series and also this video so please like share comment and in case you need any kind of help with this particular video or with for this particular series or my previous content do follow me on my instagram my instagram handle is open programmer you can also find the same in my channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye